Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die off of 19.6, where we are back in our Bozerker world on the morning of day 14, getting ready for our second horde night. Uh, we got our tier 5 bow crafted, it was significantly better than our original. Now we went ahead and popped this ergonomic grip mod in there, got the arrow rest mod crafted up, uh, and apparently... This isn't even on the wiki. I've, I've never tried putting a structural brace inside of a crossbow before, but apparently that does fit in there. So we put that in for a little bit of extra damage. I mean, it's a terrible mod you'll replace as soon as you can, but... Uh, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Any mod is better than actually nothing. So we got that going for us. Uh, we are going to find a different place to do our horde tonight because that place turned out to be uh, quite bad with the walls and everything else. So maybe over here? Let's let's go right around and see if we can find a better place. That's gonna be the first and foremost. Actually, first and foremost, I need to get some wood because we are out of wood, hard out. We got one piece. All right, we got a good bit of wood. Uh, that should be able to get us through what I wanna do tonight. Also, uh, this is my favorite stump. Oh no, they attacked it! I can't even fix it! No! Aww. The zombies must have attacked that stump at some point, because I never did. Yeah, this has a lot of land. It has no significant walls nearby. It has whatever this hotel is made out of, which is probably just brick. No, oh, that's 500 HP. I have no idea what's a 500 HP rock block. But that's, uh, that's pretty weak. We gotta get rid of these explodey things, aka buses and cars, but yeah, let's do it here. Before we tear down this bus, we do have one more point available, and we did already get up to level 3 perception. Let's get another point in salvage operations, get a little bit more out of this bus, and break it down a little bit faster. There we go. All right, let's get rid of these trees, get some visibility up in here. Huh, I think both of them heard us. I wonder what they heard, the loud trees falling down or the huffing and puffing I was doing as I ran out of stamina. Okay, I don't like this hole, so we're gonna fill it up. I don't have anything I could get caught on and fall down in, or for the zombies to caught, get caught on and fall down in, because they may be able to get out, but they also might dig the hole deeper, and if we try to use this on a second horde, they might not be able to get out next time. Uh, so let's get rid of all this stuff. So I think this is going to be the main area we're going to spend tonight here on the asphalt. Uh, try to do our circle here. So let's get a couple of basic things built and get rid of these, you know, random pieces of garbage. Uh, not all of these are garbage. This is actually just part of the asphalt, the flu thing and all that. There's one of our buried supplies. Let's fill that hole in. Ooh, little horde spawning in over there. Let's get some sneak damage on them. While they're still really far away, they didn't seem to suss us out at all. Ooh, that was a miss. Okay, so this guy didn't die from a shot. But he's very softened up. Big Mama also didn't die. She's taking it like a champ. Not anymore. Oh, back of the head. Take that, nerd. I think she saw us. Alright, let's just get in there. There's only a couple left. Oh, we already shot him. And there we go. Yeah, that should be everyone. Done. Easy breezy. Also, I missed this uh, light the other day. It was hiding in that tree. Let's go ahead and grab that. Alright, we picked a bunch of the grass. 
uh, which we can actually use to make cloth with, or we can save some for a cigar later. You only need a hundred for that though. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and build some basic structures that we can run on. Uh, something that'll help separate us from the zombies. So let's do just one of the most basic ones here. We're going to take this and we're going to bring it two blocks high. Now, two blocks high, this is something I can jump on top of with parkour, but zombies will not be able to jump on unless they pile up on each other, uh, which is going to happen. And you do want to bring this to three blocks high when you have a uh, higher level parkour, but we don't have that. And we're not going to have that by tonight because you need two more points put into parkour and you need level eight agility, which takes another two points. Uh, and we're not going to spend those two points. I want to get the glasses, at least for the early game. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what we want to spend points on tonight. It might be worth getting parkour if these aren't working at all. But yeah, this is our most basic one. Just something to hop up on. Uh, you can go ahead and reload your weapon up here if it's unloaded. And then hop back down and keep running. They'll attack on that for a while, so you tend to throw a Molotov behind you. But yeah, this will just be you know, one of the basics. Uh, let's bring this out a little bit more. So leave a six gap in between. Uh, six gap is something you can actually jump. So that's why I do that. Pretty safely jump as long as, like you don't have to be right on the edge or anything. So this will give us uh, a bit of a distance that we can cover if we need to bail. If they do get up on top of that one, we can jump over here. And we'll do this a couple of times. Now, uh, these two block stacks are significantly weaker than three block stacks. If the zombies break a single block, then they'll be able to just stare up to you. So these are much, much weaker than the three ones, because whenever you have three, if they break one block, all they do is have a hole, and they have to break all four blocks to drop you down. They don't know how to make stairs to come up to you. They can't hit this and then hit that one and then hit this one to make stairs. They got to do four blocks. This one is only one, one block and they're to you. So... This is kind of just making do until uh, we get that next level of parkour. This will hopefully be the last horde that we do uh, with level 2 parkour. Alright, this is pretty much all the prep I want to do. Uh, when we come back tonight and we're waiting on the horde, you know, that last hour or something, we'll, we'll punch some more grass. But until then, uh, let's go hang out with a trader and see if there's... Wow, we filled our inventory, jeez. I'll uh, see if there's anything we can do to pass this time a bit more efficiently. I'm on tier 4 quest? He has a tier 4 skyscraper 04. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the Joe Bro Builders, because I think that's the only skyscraper that's not a tier 5. Uh, we're going to take this quest, but there's no way we're going to do this at 5 p.m. on Horde Night. Um, let's just confirm our suspicions. Yeah, that's got to be the Joe Bro. There's a fence around it. Only a small building, too. Alright, we went ahead and bought some food, though, so let's have this meat stew. All right, we grabbed our Horde Night prep. We got our bombs. Uh, we got some food, drinks, some extra medical supplies. Uh, and we're just going to go and wrench down stuff. Uh, let's get this quest off the HUD. We're going to go wrench down some stuff and wait for the Horde Night. So I will see you guys in the future. All right. Here we go. Oh, dog already. This is why we brought this. Oh, we do not have running gun. We gotta be more aware of when we reload. Let's group them up. Group them up, go for the dog. My instinct was to reload there. Oh, beautiful Molotov. It's 
Let's hop up here. Reload. Okay, that's all we needed. Just a couple of seconds. Combat harvest these dogs. Beautiful. Okay, don't stand on it for too long. Oh, I guess I should explain. There is actually a strategy more than just run in a circle. Uh, zombies only run based on blocks. They go from block to block. So whenever we straighten up to throw the Molotov behind us, I actually go in a cardinal direction. Uh, northeast, south, or west. That way I, it's, I can get most of them and they won't end up doing some random curve around it. 
so it's it's not me just randomly throwing Molotovs in a direction. Here, we can pull that off without jumping anywhere. See, now we're going north. So they stay mostly in their cluster. Beautiful Molotov. Keep running south so they all run through it. amazing how good Molotovs are, because this is survivalist difficulty. This is the second highest amount of HP that zombies can have, and a Molotov still basically one-shots them? Oh, it looks like this might be the tail end of our horde. Somebody is inside the building for some reason. Oh, easy breezy. Are you a Horde Knight zombie or are you from this building? I woke somebody else up in there too. Oh, did you drop loot? Oh, thank you. That was so kind of you. Yeah, 130 is pretty healthy for a day 14 horde. Not bad. And we leveled up twice. That should be the end of the horde. Now, a part of me is tempted to drop this into agility. That way we can start working on parkour. And we won't be reliant on the glasses. I guess that's the smart play. And that's really going to let us upgrade this area. Put down some cool stuff. But what's going to help us more than anything is just getting a crucible. Isn't that, isn't that how most playthroughs go, sadly? Uh, we need a crucible to start making fun things, like explosive arrows. Uh, we haven't found the book for this either. I thought we found the book? But yeah, we gotta have that crucible to make the steel arrowhead. Oh no, we found the one to make steel arrows, not the one to make, uh... Yeah, but we need the crucible for those, sadly. Somebody else beating on something? Eh, let's go ahead and open this loot. It's super early. It's not that much. A little bit of ammo. Not bad. Hey! Refund on those mollies. Thanks! 
some knuckles to sell. More ammo. And the ammo and food, all right. All in all, not a bad horde night. Uh, definitely more of my speed. Day 7 was so disappointing. This area is a lot better, though. We have this nice, clean uh, dirt area to run them on. I have no idea where they were spawning, but uh, what happened in the prison is that the prison actually has dirt blocks and gravel blocks uh, with, inside of it, which can spawn zombies, including Horde Knight zombies. Uh, whereas normal buildings, they do not spawn on man-made blocks. So that's what happened with the prison, is, is they were spawning on those natural things, and then they couldn't get out, or they had to beat their way out very slowly. But yeah, that's our horde. I don't think anything else is going to happen from here. And I'm not sure how we're going to edit that. People are going to get dizzy when we're running circles. But I can't wait till we have uh, explosive arrows and stuff like that. It's going to get a lot more fun. Uh, though, we are going to need a good way to start getting glue. Uh, which usually you do with super corn on the late game if you're trying to get a lot of, of uh, duct tape. Which we will need. Every single bolt uh, is going to be a single duct tape. What about the boxes, though? Yeah, we need 60 to make 75, so you darn near need a glue for every single bomb you blow off. Whew. It's gonna start adding up, but hey, we'll cross that road in the future. If you guys enjoyed this horde, if you're excited for the next one, which is gonna be even harder, smash that like button, leave me a comment down below, and as we say in my country, old Skade Samades, and I hope to see you in the next one. Boy! Oh, that's a nice moon. That, that's a thumbnail moment right there, especially with the loading screen. Ha! <laughs> Perfect.